Welcome to class tonight. I hope that you all are doing well. As we continue working on geometry, we're going to, we're, tonight we're going to work on a topic that actually should be very, very familiar with. It. In fact, you've been working on this topic probably since first or second grade. This is a very, uh, this shouldn't be a new topic to anyone. We're going to be talking about line symmetry. Now, in class, we're going to be making symmetrical figures. But tonight, I simply want to review some of the concepts, specifically two of the concepts that we learn with symmetry. Now, it would be helpful, go ahead and open your books to page 410. Once again, 410, uh, that's where we're working tonight. Now, tonight we're going to start off with the definitions, and then we're going to work on finding or counting lines of symmetry. Okay? So first of all, definition, then some practice, and then we'll work on finding or and finding and counting the number of lines of symmetry. So first of all, line, the definition for line symmetry says, a figure has line symmetry if a line can be drawn through the figure so that each half is a mirror image of the other. The way I like to think of it, your line of symmetry, this line right here, your line of symmetry must run through the figure so that if you were to fold it on that line of symmetry, you would get a perfect, you, both, both halves would match perfectly. That is the key. If you can fold it along that line, that is an example of symmetry. It must be a perfect match. Now let's go ahead and practice let's go ahead and practice a little bit. A couple things, finding some lines of symmetry. So I have right here a bunch of figures. Um, now let's go ahead and start off with this house right here. So if I were to draw a line of symmetry right there. And if I were trying to fold that roof in half, would it match up perfectly? The answer is no, because that chimney right here, that chimney makes it not symmetrical. So this one is not symmetrical. Now let's do a couple of those. For example, this cat right here. If I were to do that right there, I could see that while it once again, very much like the rooftop, it's very, very close, this tail is not symmetrical. So that is not a symmetrical figure. But if I were to do this figure right here, that figure, if I were to fold that in half along that line, that one would be symmetrical. Same thing with that one. Um, so that line right there, and then you can even line put the uh, put the line down the guitar like that. Now the Eiffel Tower, I know this isn't perfect, but it's pretty as best I can get it. I just wanted to show you the Eiffel Tower is actually a very good example of symmetry. If I were to draw a line like that, you would see both halves match up perfectly. The Eiffel Tower is a great example of symmetry. On your homework tonight, you're actually going to be doing or some tomorrow night actually. <laughs> you're going to be working on. Uh, finding some symmetry in flags. So I have a couple examples here. Now, on the British flag, I actually have a line of symmetry right there. That's not straight. Let me fix that. I actually have a line of symmetry right there, and then you can even draw a line of symmetry right there because you can fold it either way. Now, the Canadian flag, only one line of symmetry right down the middle. Can't do it any other way. The United States flag actually does not have any lines of symmetry. You fold it right there, it doesn't match up perfectly. So you, uh, and the, uh, the other way as well. So the Amer so that's just an interesting, uh, interesting concept. Some flags are symmetrical and some flags aren't. Now our second concept, we are going to be finding lines of symmetry and then counting the number of lines of symmetry. So for example, I'm going to start off with this square right here. Now with this square, I'm simply going to start drawing lines of symmetry. So I see obvious. An obvious one is right there. That's going to be a line of symmetry. So that's one line. I see another obvious one right across the middle. Fix that. Make sure it's closer. There we go. So that's another line of symmetry. And then I can actually draw one more. I can actually do diagonal. Well, it's two more technically. Uh, I can actually do a diagonal line right there. So that's a line of symmetry. And then finally, I bet you can guess it, the other diagonal line. So that's another line of symmetry. So these, so squares actually have four lines of symmetry. So I count one, two, three, four. So there's actually four lines of symmetry in a square. Now let's go and check out this star. I thought this was a very interesting. Now a star, you can actually draw a line of symmetry right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there. So a star actually has 
five lines of symmetry, one for each point. You can fold it along each point. Now this triangle, I see one line of symmetry right there, but that's it. See, I can't do that. And then with this specific triangle, because of the way it's created, some triangles you can do point to line, but this one, you see that's not perfect. So that is not a line of symmetry. So this triangle only has one line of symmetry. Finally, this rhombus over here. The rhombus, I have diagonals. That's going to be the easier ones. So that's a diagonal, and then that's a diagonal. Those diagonals are symmetrical, but I can't do that right there because that's not symmetrical either, or that's not symmetrical. So that's not a line, and you can't do it across either. So this rhombus only actually has two lines of symmetry due to its shape. All right, last part. This actually is not part of your book. I just want to remind you of this, review this, so you, well, we can hit the ground running when we do talk about this. I have a circle up here. Now, a circle actually has many, many, many lines of symmetry. Now, any line you draw on this circle, as long as it runs through the, through the center of the circle, every single line is going to be a, a line of symmetry. So do you want to point that out? That's interesting that circles actually have millions, literally. Technically the word is infinite, an infinite number of lines of symmetry. So I want to point that out. That's more for free. I want you kind of to remember that, store that in your mind so we can come back to that a little bit later. All right, so this is your review. I hope this reminds you of all that you've already learned. Now please bring any questions you have to class tomorrow. Your homework is going to be page 412, 1 through 9, odd. Once again, page 412, 1 through 9, odd. Have a great night, and we'll see you all tomorrow.